Persistence breaks resistance. Brethren, you are most welcome once again in this midweek service. You can take your seats as we join together in the prayer of purity. Almighty God, our hearts are open before you, and there is nothing we can hide from you. Breathe your whole spirit into our hearts and cleanse our thoughts so that we may truly love you and worthily praise your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. We are now going to confess our sins to Almighty God. You know where you have gone in different ways, where you have sinned, where you have not been perfect with God. It's time. Think about it and confess your sins before the Almighty God.
And we shall all together join in the general confession prayer, saying that, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against one another in thought and word and deed. In the evil we have done and in the good we have not done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, the glory of your name. And we shall all join together in our Lord's prayer that Jesus Christ taught his disciples saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily food. Forgive us all our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory I was now and forever. Amen. Praise God. Now those who are outside, it's time you come in. I will come you once again and this is the time where we need to come. Kwaim Kwaya. Today we are being led by Kwaim. That is Chambogo University Anglican Youth Missioners. Let us all rise up as we prepare for praises and worships. Thank you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. The book of Psalms, chapter 81, from verse 1 to 2. It says, Sing praises to the Lord, our strength. Sing to the God of Jacob. Sing, beat the tambourine, and play sweet tire and harp. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Let us rise up and praise the Lord. Come on. The Lord is very good. He is awesome. And this song is a song that talks about how great he is. Come on. Let's dance for the Lord. There is no one like our God. Amen. Hakuna mungu kama wewe bwana 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 Wa milele
Hakuna mungu kama we bwana Hakuna mungu kama we bwana Wa milele for us praise the lord and we celebrate even up to today we are alive today we have hope because the lord is he gave his life for us amen yes let's praise the lord come on let's dance for the lord
Hiyo. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Abana na Yesu taliyo. Amen. Come on, clap for the Lord like this. serving right now in the old days if you see from the book of Genesis 17 16 it has the story of Abraham and Sarah a time that there was no hope a time that Abraham did have hope of having a child with Sarah at the age of 100 but the Lord had hope for him and the Lord gave them that child. The Lord gave them that gift. That's an assurance that God is a covenant keeping God. When he says that he's going to do something for you, it does not matter how long it takes, he does it. 
And this evening, look at that one thing that you've waited for too long and you're not seeing it coming. The Lord who said he's going to give it to you, who said he's going to do it for you, he will still do it for you. I don't know if you've already lost hope, but I'm telling you, the Lord is faithful. Just open your hearts and worship the Lord. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. We the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. You never leave me. You say that you won't forsake me. You walk beside me, and that is all that matters. You never leave me. You say that you won't forsake me. sing together you are the covenant keeping God he's the covenant keeping God Oh, uh -huh. 
Worshipping him just like Joseph. Oh, you never leave me. You say that you won't forsake me. You walk beside me. The Lord is my anchor. You never leave me. You say that you won't forsake me. Walk beside me, and that is all that matters. You never leave me. You never leave me. You say, you say that you won't forsake me. You walk beside me. You walk beside me, and that is all that matters. out unto the Lord that even if the Fiji tree does not bear fruit even though they, the produce are not in my garden even though the cattle stores are empty and my sheep die I will still be joyful to the Lord because he gives me strength oh, he makes me sure footed like a deer and he keeps me safe on top of the mountains. There are very many challenges that we meet. There are very mountain, very many mountains that we might have come across. The world would have paid us with hatred. We have faced a lot of things, but we still stand before the Lord and rejoice because He is our Savior. Even though we don't make it at times, even though failures has been the true definition of our lives, 
no matter what the world has called us but we are delighted because you call us your children we are delighted because you know us let your will father be with us it's you that we have we have been broken down by different people but we are happy that we have you many have walked out of our lives but you have remained constant many have failed but you have remained constant may your love may your will continue to be with us you are covenant keeping God you are not a man that you can change in what you have promised your people we thank you Jesus we thank you Father we have prayed and prayed through Jesus Christ our Lord wow let's appreciate Kwaim this is Chambogo University Anglican Youth Missioners that have been able to take us in today's praises and worship if you want to join Kwaim feel free to reach any of the people. Now we are going to have the reading. Praise the Lord. Our epistle reading this evening comes from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 19, starting from verse 1 to 6. Acts, chapter 19, starting from verse 1 to 6. And it happened while Apollos was at Corinth that Paul, having passed through the upper regions, came to Ephesus. And finding some disciples, he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? So they said to him, We have not so much as heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. And he said to them, Into what then were you baptized? So they said, Into John's baptism. Then Paul said, John indeed baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who would come after him, that, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with the tongues and prophesied. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. May we kindly stand as we have the gospel reading. We stand to hear the good news of our salvation as written in the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 28 beginning from verse 16. Glory be to Christ our Savior. St. Matthew Chapter 28 from verse 16. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age, the gospel of Christ. As we are still standing, we shall affirm our faith using the words of the Nicene Creed and together we say we believe in one God the Father Almighty maker of heaven and earth and all that is visible and invisible we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ the only Son of God eternally begotten of the Father God from God light from light True God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. 
for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated on the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, and he spoke through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. We can take our seats. On behalf of the chaplain, I welcome you all to our service this evening. Mukama Simwe. Hey, you are there. Praise the Lord. Buana Yesa Sifiwe. Okay, thank you so much for coming. Kindly wave to your neighbor. If you don't mind, you can smile. And in case your neighbor is not smiling, we have enough space elsewhere. I will not tell you what to do. Amen. Thank you so much. I would like to also recognize the presence of those who have joined us online. Um, we have Peran, Anita, there's Claire, Daisy, Dixon, Bixon, Manuel Mesigua, our chaplain, then Emmanuel Semakula, Fortunate, Helen, Mildred, Michelle Marion, Nachuka, not Nachuka, Nachuka with H, then Nana, Henry, Rebecca, Rev Beatrice, Rita, Simon, Tabitha, Techno K17, Willie, and Raymond. Thank you. Let's clap our hands and welcome them. Um, we welcome you all, uh, those who've joined us online, and we are glad that you are you, you're part of this service today. I also would like to welcome anyone who could be worshipping with us for the first time. If this is your first time to be with us, kindly raise up your hands and we see you. We are extremely happy to be with you here, by the way. Okay, so I withdraw that statement. Hey, okay. I was about to withdraw that statement if there was nobody. We have a visitor there. Thank you so much, uh, sister. Yes, those ones who are near her are already welcoming her. Thank you so much. Saint, you're not greeting our visitor and uh, my friend Anita. You kindly, yes, in case you have an envelope, you can also give her uh, uh, a presidential envelope. Amen. All right, Tamil of us were here last week. I mean last Wednesday, you just raise up your hands, okay? Oh, that's great. What did you learn? The sermon was good. What exactly did you learn? And how did you apply it this week? I don't know whether ushers have enough we, if we had enough pieces of paper, we would pass it around and then I would mark out of 50. And then uh, I would go to the dean. And, and then it would be part, part of, a part of our, our assessment for students who are here. But I believe you learned something. Yes, that you, 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 you applied and your life will be changed today. Our friend is here today again and is going to be sharing with us shortly. Uh, but before he comes, let me invite uh, a group of uh, those who are going to minister to us through songs to come immediately. Uh, they are part of Quaim. I think they are called revival dancers, right? Yes, let's welcome them. Those who have testimonies have not forgotten you, okay? To the Lord, uh, a day is like, a, like a, a, a thousand, and there are four Wednesdays in a month. So even if I forget you this Wednesday, next Wednesday you are there. Let's welcome the, 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 the dancers, and then we shall have the, the preacher.
Appreciate them one more time. Wow. Thank you so much. They reminded me of uh, my, 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 my days in primary school. Let me first finish what I'm telling you. There was a stroke which I brought when we were dancing. And the headmaster wanted to give me the whole school to be mine as, a, as an appreciation. I, when I find time, I will show you that stroke. It's so rare. Thank you so much. May, may, may God bless you. In the next two minutes, if you have a testimony, and you know it cannot wait for next week, come. Okay. Thank you. Okay. At least two minutes, two divided by two is, is one. Yes, thank you. Praise God. I thank God for my life. I thank God for the gift of friends and family. I thank God for my studies. Eh, nah. oh, potos are, eh? Things are there, but yeah. I bless the name of the Lord. But basically, I, today I realize that the grace of God is something. Jesus something that is incredible that I should even come to testify. I really bless God for his grace upon my life and I promise to serve him with every opportunity that I get. May the Lord bless you. Praise God, church. Yeah, my name is Lindo Nainembawas. I'm in year one doing Bachelor of Science in Surveying and Land Information System. Yeah, today I thank God so much for protection and for how far he has carried me. And more especially today I'm excited that I'm adding another year. I cannot take it for granted. <laughs> yeah, I thank God so much for last semester. Okay. During the examinations, I had, okay, I had panic, I can say. But I prayed to God so much, and I told God, at least help me. I don't get a retake, and I don't fall among the people who will be having missing marks. Because we used to hear, you can do your paper, and someone tells you it is missing. <laughs> yeah, I thank God so much that he heard my prayers. I didn't get any retake. I don't have any missing mark, and all my results are on my portal. I thank God so much. Praise God. Thank you. By the way, she's the Queen Fresher. Yes, in crime. So, Dr. Joseph, from what I'm hearing, it seems the results are back. Is it true? 
Hey, results are back. It's okay. We are going to pray for you. Is it your birthday today? Oh, happy birthday to you. All right. Thank you so much. I thank God so much for the coin family God has given me today. So I'm so, I'm so happy you guys have made it for me, even when I didn't expect it. I really appreciate and I will forever be grateful before the Lord. Thank you, God, for giving me coin family. So let's pray for all those ones who are born in this month. If you're born in the month, this is February, right? We are not yet in March. This is February. You are born in February. Can you stand up and we pray with you? Wow. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Lord, we thank you for these, our brothers and sisters who were born in this month of February. We are so grateful that King of Glory, they have celebrated their birthdays, oh God. And we pray that as they move forward, Lord, your blessings will be upon them and you'll continue working in their lives that your name will be glorified through Jesus Christ we have prayed. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Queen Fresher. I hope you, uh, you, you found it very easy to read your, 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 your marks. Because now, you know, from the 18 points to... To GPS, such kinds of things, but it's okay. It's it's a, it's a transition that uh, the Lord gives us the grace to 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 make. Now the man of God is here, and I wouldn't want to waste time because I've never wasted time before. So let's clap our hands and welcome our preacher. And uh, for the sake of our visitor who is behind there, the preacher is a man of God. He want, uh, once upon a time he had an interaction with you, your NEB, your Uganda National Examinations Board. They said some things about him. He will find time and tell you. But today he is the man of God bringing to us the word of God. Reverend Musa, you're welcome. Somebody say amen. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Some boys come here. Mutu wa mitambo kuja piga vyombo. Some boys on the guitar. Praise the Lord. I want us to dance it. You see, there is, there is no nothing we can give God that can please him more than us giving him a sacrifice of praise. A sacrifice of what? When King David did it, said he is the man after my heart. Amen. So I want us to give him another dance. Some people to back me, please. Always be quick. Amen. Amen. Hakuna mungu kama wewe baba Hakuna mungu kama wewe baba Unaweza Bwana unaweza Baba Hakuna mungu kama wewe yawe Hakuna mungu kama wewe yawe Unaweza Yeye Baba unaweza Anaweza Yesu anaweza Baba anaweza Yeye Bana wa upendo Baba, Baba, 
kwake Yesu cheza Baba tunacheza Cheza kwake Yesu Baba tunaruka Ruka kwake ruka 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 Baba tunaruka Ask your neighbor how many marks have you earned? Others have got 50. Those of 70, put up your arms. Those of 80, clap your hands to Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Come after me and say, Jesus, Son of the living God, what a joy to be called your child. What a joy to call you Abba Father. What a joy, O oh Lord, to be known as no condemned. I'm not condemned anymore because of the work you've done for me on the cross. So speak to me in this beautiful series of baptism that I may qualify as a child qualify for eternity and that's why I'm in the church speak of God and I will listen in Jesus name somebody shout For those who did not see me last Sunday, last Wednesday, I'm Reverend Musa Baroko Siamu Tsangira. <laughs> Praise the Lord. In the year 1992, the Lord Jesus found me in the disco hall and delivered me out of the disco dance and transformed my life to dance for him. Amen. I'm 55 years old, but I can still dance as a 30 year boy. Amen. 
I have a wife, four children, and five grandchildren. I work in the office of the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, and I am the provincial coordinator for Muslim evangelism, trying to protect the church from the Islamization strategy that has taken 26 countries in Africa, which are now declared Islamic. Unfortunately, Uganda is one of them. Uganda is a Muslim country registered by Eid Amin Dada in 1974. Up to now, we have not been deregistered, which is against our constitution because Article 7 of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda declares that Uganda shall not establish a state religion. So if you get an MP, ask, why are we registered as an Islamic country? When the Constitution says, we shall not establish, Uganda shall never establish a state. So why are we registered? The church should take charge and ask government. Somebody say, we must be concerned. I'm just taking a minute to tell you the challenge of that. There is an Islamization strategy working in Uganda through schools that no one knows about. Where in the Ministry of Education, Muslims have influenced the system that our children from P1 to P7 are not taught about the son and the father. They only speak about God and Jesus. There is no verse in the Bible that says if you deny Jesus, you will go to hell. But the Bible says, if you, you deny the son, oh, you will go. Now, in the primary school, that has been deleted. That our children are not taught about the father and... They wrote a national prayer. How many of you still remember that prayer? And in that prayer... The father and the son were deleted. How many of you still remember it? Can we take it? Uh huh. How, how does it say? Look at me, oh God. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, what is funny in the prayer? The Father, the Son, and Jesus are deleted. How, how can a Christian pray that prayer? Tell the church, wake up. Tell the church what? Allah Akbar, the, the worst sin in Islam is to believe that Jesus is the son of God. And the best faith in Christianity is for God so loved the what? And he did what? He gave his only begotten son. So that what? Whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal Clap your hands to Jesus Christ. In the Quran, Surah 9, Ayah 30, if you say that, Allah declares a curse on you. And that's why Allah is disqualified to be called God by any Christian. Tell your neighbor, he is not God. And he is not my God. Somebody shout Amen. I have brought for you about 50 books titled Allah in the Quran is not God in the Bible. And Jesus Christ in the Bible is not Isa in the Quran. You will get these books with the... What's your name? Eh? 
Sha. Shaba Namara. You, you will get these books and he will give you at 5,000 a copy only. Praise the Lord. What did you learn yesterday on last Wednesday? Yes. Baptism. Our last verse, we have, we have read to one the epistle and then the gospel. I will ask us to take the, 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 the acts that we read. Acts chapter 8, 19, verse 1 to 6. So that you remember what we learned last Wednesday on this crucial topic, the most important topic in, in Christianity, baptism. The reason it becomes so crucial, because only through baptism, we are qualified as disciples. If we are not baptized, we are not disciples of Jesus Christ. Acts 19, 1 to 6. My experts in the computer room. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. So, what is this type of Bible? Please bring a better one. NIV. Good. We move. While Apollos was at Corinth, Paul took the road through the interior and arrived at Ephesus. There, he found some disciples and asked them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? They answered, No, no. We have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. So Paul asked then, what baptism did you receive? John's baptism, they replied. Paul said, John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. He told the people to believe in the one coming after him, that is it. Somebody shout a me. Why did they, why did Paul advise them what John intended? We, have, we realized last Wednesday that there are two types of baptism. Water baptism belongs to who? How does Jesus baptize? Does he use water? What does he use? And, and fire. Holy Spirit and what? Fire. Somebody shout amen. amen. So Paul was amazed that people can be called disciples without the baptism of the what? Speak louder. With, without which baptism? So you cannot qualify to be a disciple unless you are baptized by who? Jesus who baptizes with what? Somebody shout amen. amen. So last Wednesday we realized that some people think they are Christians, yet they are Johnny. So ask your neighbor, are you a Christian or a Johnnyian? We reminded you of the Anglican art of baptism. That the Anglican art of baptism, the Church of Uganda way of baptizing is in two parts. Part number one is the water. Where the reverend says, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We accept this child into the family of believers. And we put on this child the sign of the what? Of the cross. So the water introduces the person baptized on the door, not on the altar. <laughs> on the what? And what does the door mean? It means what? The reason we baptize from the door is to welcome the people inside the what? And that's why we tell them, you are welcome in the what? Then you put the sign of the cross and you say, and the reverend says, 
I sign you with the cross to show that from today. You will never fear to confess Jesus Christ crucified. And after confessing then, you will fight against the world. Two, the devil. Three, the flesh. Under the banner of who? Jesus. This means you can never fight the devil before you do what? So ask your neighbor, have you confessed or not? What is the answer? <laughs> Somebody shout to me. Last Wednesday we realized that if you are still struggling with the devil, the devil does not fear you. It takes you part of its workers. It's because you belong to whose baptism? So ask your neighbor, are you part of them? <laughs> yeah. Somebody shout amen. amen. Now, man has a problem of following things that are physical than following things that are spiritual. And it is the reason even the disciples were struggling on which baptism. Because one was spiritual, one was physical. So the physical baptism stole the game. The reason the church is not being represented well, I told you that in the West, a whole reverend will come and wed a man and a what? A man. They have got tired with men and men. They now wed with men and dogs. Is that, is that normality? Is what? Abnormality. How do you wed with a dog? In the church. The secret is small. Because you belong to which baptism? So we want to erect a church that is true to the Lord. Somebody say amen. amen. We want you to be a church that is true to the Lord by directing you on which foundation you should be planted. Not on John, but on who? I want to expose today that there are four baptisms in the Bible. In fact, there are more than four in the Bible. But we want to dwell on the four. Last Sunday, last Wednesday, we looked at three. Water for John. Jesus uses what? Holy Spirit and? Dawayamoto ninini. Edagaladiomudrochichi. In Lukonzo, Omoba Tsuo Morero, one of Morero. Echira Tambomuro, no Muchi. Dawayamoto ninini. So you cannot defeat the devil by water. So ask your neighbor, are you water foundation? Are you water foundation? So today I want to remove from your minds anything called water to push it back to John. So that each one of you looks for who? Looks for who? Now this is the secret. Even John, who immersed people in water, was not immersed. <laughs> Laugh better now. John, who immersed people in what? John himself was not immersed. He even requested Jesus. Let us read it there. He even requested Jesus. I was waiting for you to immerse me. Jesus looked at him and ignored him. Namukubechi ginoa. Do you know to, to look at someone and ignore? I love you. So John brought a request. I was waiting for you to, 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 to immerse me. Yes, Matthew the Gospel. 
chapter 3 and verse 13 and 14. Uh -huh. We go, we go, we go. Matthew 3, 13, 14. We go. Every person move with me. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. Uh -huh. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. And do you come to me? Jesus ignored. <laughs> Jesus did what? Why? John never knew that he was already baptized. John was baptized before he came out of his mother's womb. But he was not muzzled. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. He was not. He was not. So you tell the water, water pastors. Water, water what? Water, water what? One day I was annoyed by a pastor on TV. You see, going to the TV is very expensive. So some of us don't have the money to go there. <laughs> but pray for me that one day God will take me there. Somebody shout amen. amen. Now one pastor said, you must be immersed. Don't go for water on the plates because all people must be immersed so that you go where? Go and ask him, will John not go to heaven? He murdered other people, but he was not. So if John was not murdered, how was he baptized? We want ink. Twagalabuchi, we know. Twagalabuchi, look the gospel, chapter 1 and verses 15. Luke 1, 15. Then you will jump to 39 and 40. Luke 1, 15. Uh-huh. Luke 1, 15. Good. Start with 13 to make sense. Move. But the angels say to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayers has been... Huh? Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son, and you are to give him the name... Huh? He will be and delight to you and many will rejoice because of his birth. 15. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even from Engarozibazanezo John was baptized by the Holy Spirit in the mother's womb. That's why when he told Jesus, I thought you came to baptize me. Namukuba Chichi. Engarozibazanezo. We want to remove anything physical so that Jesus remains the king of the church. Somebody shout amen. We shall not die having Jonesians filling the what? We want what? Cre 39 to 44. Same book. Good. Now, this is how it happened. We are going for practicals. If John was baptized in her mother's womb, how? Ask your neighbor, but how? And who baptized him? In the mother's what? Tell your neighbor, the devil is in danger today. Because he must live your life. Tell your neighbor, he must live. Oh. Akuna mchezo. We go. At that moment, 
Some people are not reading the Bible. Tell them, enjoy the word of God. <laughs> you see, you are used to a bad system of reading for you. Here, no read for you. Read for your. Read for your. Read for your. Move. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Zechariah. When Elizabeth... I was reading another, another version in the head. We repeat again 39. At that moment, Mary got ready and hurried to the town in the hill country of Judea where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting the baby leaped in her womb <laughs> ho, ho, somebody shout at me somebody shout at me who responded to the greeting? Who responded to the greeting? Somebody shout! Who was Mary greeting? But who responded to the greeting? Clap your hands, Banange. Move ahead, move ahead. And Elizabeth, go back, go back, go back. Uh -huh. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But what am I, come again, but why am I so favored that the Lord, the what? The mother of my Lord should come to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Move ahead. As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for 44, 44. Uh -huh. We are already in 45. Uh, that's enough. Now this is what happened. Come here. Uh -huh. Where is the mother? Where is the mother here now? I'm looking at young girls. Where is the mother? Where is the mother? No mother, Vanangi. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is the mother now. Now, this is Mary. And this is who? Now, in Elizabeth's womb, who is there? Who is in Mary? Now, 42. 42. We go. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed am you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. 43. 43. But why am I so favored uh -huh, that the mother of my Lord... Now, in Mary is Jesus, and Mary is... And Elizabeth is calling her my Jesus was three months old in who Zach John was six months old in who now the Lord in who is coming to baptize the child in who somebody shout somebody shout that is how John was Bapu. Common sense. Tell your neighbor.
Muzukubira yesu ingaronga ziguera. So Jesus baptized who? When Jesus was where? And who was where? <laughs> Club for Mary and Elizabeth. Now someone tells you, you Anglicans, you are, you, are, you are very bad people, you are wrong. How do you baptize children? Banang. If John was baptized while inside, while still where? Inside. My child is one week, is already? <laughs> is already? Now who is older? The one who is inside? Or the one who is where? Enough is a what? Every person must find his way to heaven. No jokes. Tell your neighbor, no jokes. We are not here for jokes. Tell your neighbor, you are going to heaven. The devil likes it or not. You are going where? Hakuna machezo. So that's John. So the people who told you immersion, baptism means immersion, tell them that's John's stuff. <laughs> that's what? Baptism means immersion. What is the answer? That's what? It does not affect who? It does not concern who? It does not belong to who? Tell your neighbor, a dollar of a risuka quao. Tetuliba water. Tetulibachi. Tetulibachi. Tulibachi. Vamoyo namuchi. We are for what? Holy Spirit and what? Now I'm going to answer the biggest question. That is baptism number three. Baptism number one, water, belongs to who? Baptism number two, Holy Spirit and fire, belongs to who? Baptism number three, baptism in the what? Now I'm going to answer the biggest question. Why did then Jesus go to the Jordan? Why did he go to the Jordan? Because people who, who say that... Even Church of Uganda should go to, to, to the Nile. <laughs> In Kasese, they tell us to go to Nyamwamba. <laughs> With all those stones. Have you ever seen Nyamwamba flooding? <laughs> so, why did Jesus go to the Jordan? That's what we want to answer. People who, who, who tell people to go to the big waters. Let me give you an an. I was poor in mathematics, but this one I can manage. I got a nine in mathematics. Chemistry, nine. Physics, nine. Biology, nine. But when Jesus came, D1, somebody say me! Now, in mathematics, if I bring a cup of water and Reverend Brings a drum of water. What is the name? What is the name? You brought a cup. It is called what? He brought a drum. It is called what? You bring river Nile. It is called what? So we are not water level. Tell your neighbor, no water here. Clap your hands, Jesus Christ. So people tell others, Come and be baptized like Jesus. Hey, how? They immersed him in the Jordan. It is true. But Jesus says, Hello? Jesus says, No one can be baptized like him. 
bring it mnange mark mark 10 bring the verse mark 10 36 38 we want to first answer the question why did he go to the jordan and he says no one can be baptized like him are you there okay move together with me you tell your neighbor enjoy the word move what do you want me to do for you he asked they replied let one of us sit at your right and the other at the left in your glory uh-huh you don't know what you are asking jesus can you drink the cup i drink or be baptized with the baptism i am baptized with somebody show yesu aganye akoza atia in lukonzo yesu amakare yesu amakare amagana no one can be baptized like so you go and ask them you have always been telling me to go and be baptized like jesus but he re he's refusing he's doing what hey, come and we put you in the big water jesus says no one can be baptized like so we are asking mr john why did jesus come to the waters Indeed, he went there. But he says, no one can be baptized like. John is explaining why Jesus, I want you to go and teach the water, water men. Water, water. Water, water. John, the gospel 1, 29, 34. Now, John explains why Jesus went to the Jordan. Clap your hands, Jesus Christ. Are you there, my computer expert? Huh? John 1, 29, 34. John the Gospel 1, 29, 34. Tell the computer, be quick. Mm -hmm. We are there. Clap for that man. Okay, enjoy the word. Move. Move. The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and say, Look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the what? Uh -huh. This is the one I meant when I said, A man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. I myself did not know him. But the reason I came baptizing with was that he might be revealed to somebody shall somebody shall <laughs> but now Okay. Come on. Come on. John came to baptize with water to reveal who? Now imagine people get stuck with John. Instead of going to the man, he came to do what? To do what? Now you get stuck with John. They should imagine me. Hey. Hey, what is the problem? In my tribe, when you are going to be married, the wedding is tomorrow. Today, they send a person who we call in Lokonzo Omusabi, who is, who is going to direct the Mugore to the husband's home. Now we imagine the Mugore gets stuck with the what? Ah. 
So Johnny's role is on what? Thank you for learning glucose of Johnny's work is a what? So the water water boys have got stuck with a what? Enough is move ahead, move ahead. Uh huh. Then John gave this testimony. I saw the spirit of God, the spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain. I would not have known him except that the one who sent me to with water, with water, with water, water, water. water. Hey, hey. Huh? told me the man on whom you see the spirit come down and remain is he who with what? Somebody shall. Somebody shall. If the devil thought you were going to hell, tell him bye bye. Mweka jambo. Tell the devil. Tell the devil. Tell the devil. In the name of. You've been struggling with sin. The answer is now here. Come out of John. Enter who? Full stop. I was 23 and I came out of the disco hall. I marched with Jesus up to today. 32 years on the road. No turning back. Tell your neighbor, no turning no turning. Listen, listen. Move. 33. 34. Uh -huh. I have seen and I testify. What? Anger was I assume. How many now have answers? You have answers. Wave to God and say thank you. Just shout to him and say, Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa God. Baptism number four. Jesus has said, I have a baptism to undergo, which no one can share. Let us confirm. So that at least today we stop at baptism number. We have seen number one. Water belongs to who? Holy Spirit and fire belongs to who? Who was baptized in the mother's womb? Now number four. The gospel according to Luke chapter 12 and verses 40. Luke 12, 49 and 50. Luke the gospel 12, 49. 49. Good. Tell your neighbor, enjoy the word. Move. I have come to bring fire on earth. And how I wish it were already kindled. Uh -huh. But I have a baptism too. Uh -huh. And how distressed I am. Until it is. Somebody shout. For you who are true Christians. Which baptism is this that made him distressed? Uh -huh. Any thought? Any thought? Yes? On the cross, clap for that young man. That is the answer. Jesus' death on the cross was his baptism. That's why he said, no one can share my baptism. So you have now an answer. He went to the Jordan 
to be introduced. His baptism was on the what? That's why when we are being saved, we confess his death. Let us read that verse, two, two more verses. My boss, I know the time is over, but I don't want to leave my people half-baked. <laughs> Bear with me, okay? Romans 10, 9. Romans 10, 9. Uh -huh. We go together. That if you confess with... <laughs> with... Uh-huh. Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Somebody shout! So when we ask you to come in front, you come to confess his death that he died for your sin. And when you confess that, he takes away the heart. And you become a brand new person. Ask your neighbor, can you become a brand new guy? If he's a guy, can you become a brand new guy? And stop disturbing me with love, 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 love. <laughs> Somebody shout! You will love at the right time. You young men, they are still, they are still, they are still paying for your fees. <laughs> Even the shoe they bought for you. <laughs> and you are here telling someone, I will marry you. Eh? <laughs> Tell him, liar. <laughs> In fact, you young men. Your wives are now in the senior four. <laughs> I beat my wife 10 years of age. In fact, 10 years and 6 months. My own wife. So, if you are already 22, how old is your wife? <laughs> how old is your wife? 11. But these young girls... Their husbands are already employed. Clap for them. Your husband is already what? So don't disturb them. I will marry you. Stop, stop. Liar. Somebody shout at me. Now we go to our last verse. Our last verse. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to heaven. I'm qualifying for heaven. Our last verse. John the Baptist, my good friend, made a handover report. Tell your neighbor, John handed over ministry. And he closed down his office. We repeat again. And, that, and did what? When did he close it? Over 2,000 years ago. And let us read the handover report. John the Gospel 3, 25 to 30. We are looking at the handover report. John the Gospel 3, 25 to 30. Good. Enjoy the last word. Move. An argument developed between some of John's disciples and a certain Jew over the matter of ceremonial. They came to John and said to him, Rabbi, that man who was with you on the other side of the Jordan, 
the one you have testified about well. He is baptizing and everyone is going to him. To this, John replied, a man can receive only what is given him from to this, John replied, eh, eh. move ahead. Oh. <laughs> you yourselves can testify that I said, I am not the Christ, but I am sent ahead. Oh, Today is today. Tell your neighbor, today is today. Today is today. No more devil. No more confusion. Move ahead. Uh -huh. The bride belongs to the bridegroom. The friend who attends the bridegroom waits and listens for him and is full of joy when he hears the bridegroom's voice. That joy is mine and is now complete. Third, he must become I must become somebody shout! So John picked the padlock and closed down his office. It's very bad that my pastors in Kampala go to knock on a closed It's like when you call a number that does not exist on MTN. What is the answer? <laughs> the number you have called does not exist on MTN. So every time you want to go to River Nyamwamba and River Nile, heaven replies, the water. <laughs> How does heaven reply? Office you have come to look for does not exist. <laughs> Where? John's office does not exist in who has the office? Who has the office? How many want to say today I'm a different person? Put up your arm. Today I'm a different person because I've understood. Wave to Jesus. Wave to Jesus. Wave to him and say, I have understood. I have understood. And I'm going to preach. In the name of... What about those who want to say, today is my day, I want to declare myself for heaven. Put up your arm also. Yes, you are there. Put it up, put it up. Don't fear anyone's eyes. Because the devil will never fear you. Thank you, my sister. Another one. That is the hardest task because the devil knows if it does not hold your arms, you are leaving it. So that's why many of you want, but the arm is as if it is having a kilogram, 100 kilos <laughs> to be lifted where? So lift it up and I shame the devil. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sister. Put them up. Put, leave them up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Clap for them. Clap for them. Stand up where you are, my special guests. Stand up where you are. Clap for them as they stand. Clap for them. Clap for them. Another one there. Clap for them. Escort them, please. You neighbors, escort them. Escort them. Escort one neighbor, escort another one. Escort them. Those are special guests. Another one here. Any other one, any other, escort them. 
Put up your arm. Put up your arm. Until they come here, please clap. Praise the Lord. Now listen. I have not yet finished baptism. This was the second series. I am requesting the leadership of the chapel to create the third. And why? Because there is another part where Jesus sat with Nicodemus on the first consultation meeting between the Lord and the leader of the Pharisees called Nicodemus. In that discussion, Jesus declared, you must be born of water and the spirit. Yet water belongs to who? But Jesus brings water. So I'll come back so that we'll discover the water. Somebody say amen. Clap for Papa. Thank you so much, Rev Musa. Now, just want to put things right. Anyone getting saved? You're giving your life to... Where are those who escorted them? Are you go behind? Those who escorted Thank you. Just come in front here. Are you getting saved or you are committing? Are you confessing Jesus for the first time? No. You're recommitting. You're recommitting. Let's stretch our hands towards them and pray. Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood? In the soul, in the soul, cleansing power of the Lamb. Are you God? Are you God? Spotless are the white as snow. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Father, we thank you because nothing can wash us and make us white apart from the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for this, your maid servants who have heard the word. And Lord, they have come here to recommit themselves to you. You know them very well, O oh God. Father, we pray for an infilling upon them through the power of the Holy Spirit. That yes, as they leave this altar, King of glory, that divine power shall be resting upon them to the glory and honor of your name. We pray not only for them, Lord, but we pray for this entire congregation that, Father, you will visit us again this evening and that your name will be glorified. For this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. You can fill those forms. Ashes will give you some forms you'll fill. And then we shall uh, follow, uh, follow you up so that you can grow in your journey of salvation. Let's clap our hands and appreciate the man of God as we thank God. Amen. Amen. We are now going to offer in the house of the Lord. Uh, those who have joined us online, the numbers have been, I believe they have been shared. You, you, you can share, you can give in your, your offerings to the Lord and then we shall come and receive from the Lord's table as the worship team leads us.
Lord, we come into your cause. All we need is you. Touch our hearts and dwell within them. so grateful father for the very many things that you have done for us the songwriter says count your blessings and see what God has done for you when we count our blessings so oh God we can say without any fear of contradiction that you have done many things for us and we pray that father you receive these gifts that we have brought to you this evening may they be used oh God for the expansion of your kingdom and we pray that Lord you'll continuously bless us that we might get what to bring to your sanctuary O King of Glory. Receive it for this is our prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We can sit or kneel as we join in the prayer of humble access. The prayer of humble access and together we say we do not come to your table merciful Lord trusting in our own goodness. We are not good enough even to eat the crumbs that fall from your table. But you never change. Your nature is always to have mercy. We therefore humbly ask you, gracious Lord, to let us eat the flesh of your dear son, Jesus Christ, and drink his blood, so that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed by his precious blood, and that we may forever dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, 
we praise and thank you for giving us your son to suffer and die on the cross for our salvation. Lord, this evening as we receive this gift of bread and wine in our Savior showed us, may we truly receive his body and his blood. For in the night that he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus Christ took the bread and after giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. For this is my body which is given for you. Do this in memory of me. And in the same way after supper he took the cup. And after giving you thanks. He gave it to them saying. Drink this all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant. Which is shed for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it. In memory of me. O Lamb of God. Who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, who takes up the sins of the world, have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. My dear brothers and sisters, may you draw near with faith and receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ represented in this sacrament. And as you come, may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep and preserve you in eternal life. Amen.
cross Stayed with blood so divine A wondrous beauty I see For oh, it was on the cross That it suffered and died To fight on and sanctify me And so I cherish, so I cherish The old Sure. 